What you're seeing is an updated Siglent SDS-1000 oscilloscope. And what I want to show you is this part where at the top it shows Rx, which is the receive line, and then it says IGOL. That signal is coming from a Rigol DS6000 uh, evaluation board, and <clears throat> it. Uh, I'm doing this video to uh, uh, tell people that Siglent has responded to the uh, criticism in my uh, part seven of the Siglent versus Rigol comparison of the oscilloscopes by adding the ASCII decode. So uh, kudos to, uh, to Siglent for their responsiveness. This is the second time they have responded. They also responded uh, with regard to the CAN decodes that uh, I mentioned. And I really consider this to be, uh, be top-notch service. They've, uh, they've added CAN decode. They've added the uh, ASCII decode to the UART. The one thing you do have to uh, realize is you will only get the ASCII decode if you use the list function. That is, uh, I'll go back here first. And you notice over here it says list. You have to turn, you have to go to that, and then you have to set the, uh, the display and uh, so, on, so on, including the format. And of course the list has to be turned on. The format is, uh, can be in binary, it can be in, uh, yeah, let me get that back up again, it can be in uh, decimal, it can be in hex, or it can be in uh, ASCII. Earlier all you could decode was into hex. So uh, I have installed the update. It's called, I think it's the 06 update. And it does the uh, job, gets the, uh, the decode into uh, uh, Rigol. Let me change the number of lines here to uh, seven lines. So you can see a little more what's going on there. And the message that is being sent is Rigol, then a space, and then DS6000. You only see seven lines, and that's the maximum that this, uh, that this decoder will show. But seven lines is fine for, uh, for basic decode work. So uh, I hope that uh, if you've got a Siglent, that uh, you download this new update. If you don't have a Siglent yet, but are thinking of buying one, Disregard what I said in part 7 about it not having ASCII decode, because now it does. Hope this helps. Try to keep it short, and uh, if you uh, have any questions, post your comments down below. But uh, let me close by thanking Siglent for their uh, responsiveness on these uh, decode issues.